This video is a part 2 on pivoting of a matrix. If you have not seen the part 1, please click on the link at the top right corner. Let's take a look at this matrix. 3, 4, 1, 2, 2, 3, negative 1, negative 4, 2. Because there is no zero in this matrix, I can pivot at any entry I want. So let's say I want to pivot at this particular 3. The first thing we need to do is to multiply the reciprocal of the pivot entry, which means 1 third, to the pivot row, which means R2. The first row and the third row are not changed, and therefore I'm going to copy them. As for the second row, one-third is multiplied to every single entry. So we will get 2 over 3, 2 over 3, and 1. Next, we need to ensure that every other entry in this pivot column is a 0. So we have to turn this 1 into a 0 as well as this 2. This one lives in R1, and therefore I'm going to put down R1 at the beginning. We are using the pivot row R2, so I'm going to put down R2 at the end. How can I turn a 1 into a 0? I'm going to do minus 1 times. Minus 1 times of R2 can be put down as an auxiliary row down here. So, negative 1 times the first entry of R2 is negative 2 over 3. Negative 1 times the second entry of R2 is negative 2 over 3. And negative 1 times the last entry of R2 gives us negative 1. This auxiliary row is going to be added to R1. So we have negative 2 over 3 added to 3, which gives us 7 over 3. Negative 2 over 3 added to 4 gives us 10 over 3. Negative 1 added to 1 gives us 0. The second row and the third row are not changed, so we are going to copy entry by entry. Finally, we need to ensure that this entry is also a 0. Because this 2 lives in R3, I'm going to put down R3 at the beginning. We are still pivoting at R2, and therefore, we're going to put down R2 at the end. How can we turn a 2 into a 0? We do it by minus 2 times. Negative 2 times R2 can be put as an auxiliary row down here, which means negative 2 times 2 over 3 gives negative 4 over 3. Negative 2 times 2 over 3 is negative 4 over 3. Negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. This auxiliary row is going to be added to the last row, R3. So the new R3 becomes negative 4 over 3 plus negative 1, which is negative 7 over 3. Negative 4 over 3 plus negative 4, which is negative 16 over 3. Negative 2 plus 2, which is 0. This operation does not change R1 or R2, so all we need to do is to copy the rest of the entries over. This completes our pivoting, because we successfully turned the pivot entry 3 into a 1, and we make sure that all other entries in the pivot column are 0. Let's take a look at another example. Say, this time we have a 3 by 4 matrix 2, negative 2, 3, 5, 1, 0, negative 4, 2, 3, 1, negative 2, negative 1. We can pivot at any entry in this matrix except this 0. Let's say we want to pivot at this negative 2. The first thing we need to do is to multiply the reciprocal of the pivot entry, which is 1 over negative 2, 
to the pivot row, which is R3. By doing so, we will get 1 over negative 2 times 3, which is negative 3 over 2. 1 over negative 2 times 1, which is negative 1 half. 1 over negative 2 times negative 2, which is 1 and 1 over negative 2 times negative 1, which is positive 1 half. The other two rows are not changed, so we are going to copy them over. We are still pivoting at this entry, and our task is to turn these two entries into zero. This three lies in the first row, so I'm going to put down R1. We are using the third row as the pivot row, so we are putting down R3 at the end. How do we turn 3 into a 0? We are going to do minus 3. And we are going to put down negative 3 times R3 as an auxiliary row down here. Negative 3 times the first entry gives me positive 9 over 2. Negative 3 times the second entry gives me positive 3 over 2. Negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. And negative 3 times 1 half is negative 3 over 2. Next, we need to add this auxiliary row to R1. And we will get 9 over 2 plus 2, which is 13 over 2. 3 over 2 plus negative 2 will give me negative 1 half. Negative 3 plus 3 is 0. And negative 3 over 2 plus 5 is 7 over 2. The second row is not changed by this operation, but we know that we want to turn this negative 4 into a 0 eventually. So, it may be a good idea to actually work on R2 right now. Because we want to change R2, we are going to put down R2 at the beginning here, and we are using R3 as the pivot row, so we are going to put R3 at the end. I'm turning negative 4 into a 0, so all we need to do is to do plus 4 in the middle. To make our calculation easier, once again, I'm going to put down the auxiliary row 4 times of R3 down here. 4 times of the first entry gives me negative 6. 4 times of the second entry gives me negative 2. 4 times of 1 is 4. 4 times of 1 half is 2. This auxiliary row is going to be added to R2. So we have negative 6 plus 1 to get negative 5. Negative 2 plus 0 to get negative 2. 4 plus negative 4 to get 0, and 2 plus 2 to get 4. The last row R3 is the pivot row, which is not changed. So we are going to copy it down here. This completes our pivoting, because we successfully turned the pivot entry negative 2 into a 1, and all other entries in the pivot column are 0. If you like our video, please subscribe our channel and we will learn more fun math together. Thank you for watching.